Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Red Cloud. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings for best FPS, best visuals, and best color settings. All right guys, so if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. Let's try and go for 20 likes on this video. If you guys want to stop by my stream, I'd seriously appreciate it as well. It's twitch.tv slash Red Cloud. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, the whole nine yards in the description below and the Discord as well, so be sure to join that as well. Thank you guys for 2,000 subs, by the way. Thank you very much. Let's get into the video uh, geforce experience what you're going to want to do check out this link it's in the description below it auto updates nvidia drivers as well as specifically make sure that you're always up to date it also optimizes games and stuff like that so if you guys want to check it out go for it uh, if you guys want a more specific driver uh let's say an earlier version of a driver on an older graphics card you guys can hit out drivers and go to manual search right here and then you can specifically look for the graphics card uh, driver here. I already have this installed, so I'm gonna hit GeForce Experience on my PC. It's gonna launch up, and this is what it's gonna look like for you once you've installed it. What you'll do is you'll go to Drivers, and then Check for Updates is right here underneath my webcam. And then it's gonna tell you you have an update available or that you have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. So once you have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver and after you've restarted your PC. All right, guys, so be sure to right click your desktop, go to NVIDIA Control Panel, and this should launch up right here. So it should come up with this tab called Adjust Image Settings with Preview. By default, usually it's let the 3D application decide. This is pretty bad as well as use my preference of emphasizing performance. This is not as specific as we need it. Um, and sometimes it might be on quality, you know, never know. So what we're going to do is we're going to use advanced 3D image settings. And before that, I just want to let you know that 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. Be sure if you're watching the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, help a boy out. Okay. Manage 3D settings. What we're going to do is we're going to go here. And if you guys want, literally you can pause the video and just copy everything I do here. If you guys would like to. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go more in depth into everything and explain to you guys why I chose these settings and what they do. And that way you guys can pick and choose what you guys would like to change. Image sharpening. So your graphics card, not every graphics card will have this, by the way. If your graphics card does have this, I would suggest using it on 0 0.50 or, and 0 0.17. This allows for a little bit more sharpening on your games, which in turn does add costs a little bit of FPS, but the visual quality goes up quite a bit. So if you guys find that this doesn't help you, uh, be sure to just take it off. It adds a little bit of FPS, but um, you know, that's up to you. And that's, those are the settings that I use. Um, ambient occlusion, performance, application control, we'll leave this on uh, instead of off, or yeah, we'll keep this on application control. Anti-aliasing, we'll keep this on off. Uh, Anti-aliasing gamma correction, we'll keep this on on. Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled. That's default transparency, we're gonna keep this off. Max frame rate, if you guys wanna cap your frame rate for your games in the background while you're playing or when you're AFK, you can set this to like 30 or 60, depending on what you wanna do. CUDA, GPUs, we're gonna keep this on all. And then DSR factors, we're gonna keep this on off. Now we're gonna go down to low latency mode. If you guys find that using this on on creates stutters for your graphics card, it most likely means that your graphics card is not uh, good enough to run it on low latency mode, which is okay. You can just turn this off, uh, but I would use it on on me specifically. Max frame rate, you can actually cap your, all of your games frame rates on here as well as app other applications on here so if you guys want you guys can cap this if uh you find that your your i don't know your pc is like crashing or something as a certain amount of fps you guys can cap your frame right here um multi-frame sampled we'll keep this on off open gl rendered gpu we're going to select our actual graphics card instead of auto select that's because especially if you guys have intel graphics cards like intel integrated graphics cards uh it might auto select that it's rare but it might happen, especially if your graphics card isn't up to date. So yeah, power management mode, we're gonna go to perform maximum performance for the refresh rate highest available or whatever refresh rate you'd like it to, to be on. Data cache on on, texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization on on. Who comes up with these names, by the way? Negative LOD bias on allow, quality, high performance, trilinear optimization on on, 
threaded optimization auto, triple buffering on off, and then use the 3D application setting for vertical sync. Or in general, you can just keep this off. This will allow your computer to just feel smooth uh, depending on if you have like a G-Sync monitor or not. So that's about it for our 3D settings. These settings, after you hit apply, will basically allow you to get the most amount of performance out of your graphics card. Once you do these settings, that's basically it. If you guys want custom resolutions, what you can do is you can hit change resolution. You can actually add a customized resolution here and you can create a custom resolution. So if you guys want to change your resolution from like 1920 to 1080 by 1080 um, to let's say like 1440p or something, or not 1440p, I mean like 1440 by 10, uh, 1080, uh, you would change this to 1440 and then vertical at 1080 and hit apply with the refresh rate that you want. And you would just select it down here. And that's it for custom resolutions. Um, these settings right here, these are for color settings. So this allows us to change some color settings that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Because some, especially low uh, response time monitors and gaming monitors, tend to have like kind of washed out colors. So this setting will help you guys get higher color and just a little bit more clarity in your games. So I use NVIDIA color settings and then I go down to uh, de adjust desktop color settings. And then I go to digital vibrance. And then instead of using 50% by default, I slide this to 80 or whatever you find to be the setting that you want it to be. Maybe you want it lower, maybe it's just too bright or you want it at 100%, that's up to you as well. I like it at 80, I think it looks really nice and it helps out my color a lot. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can also adjust your desktop size and position. So if you guys have another monitor and you can change the scaling mode, you guys can actually change it, whether it to be full screen, no scaling or aspect ratio. So if these settings are available for you, feel free to change that and mess around with that. If you guys have lower end graphics cards, you won't see some of these settings, but hopefully you see all of them. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for supporting the stream and the YouTube channel. Seriously, thank you for 2K subs. Seriously, huge shout out to all of you guys. If you guys want to stop by the stream, ask me any questions or play with me. I've currently been playing Warzone and need some people to carry or carry me. So if you guys want to come by, check it out. Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. Also links in the description below for my Discord, Twitter, Instagram. I respond to every DM and every comment. Even on videos with like 100k plus views, I got you fam. Alright guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.